Just like a child who trusts his father's dear And who delights to feel his presence near Just like a child whose mind has not a doubt And who should never proud Here I come, oh Lord Here I come just like a child here I come, oh Lord Here I come just like a child Here I come, oh Lord Here I come just like a child Here I come, oh Lord Here I come just like a child Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 My dear friends, today's mass specially offered for the intentions of Sir Joseph Reddy and for all his family members. This mass also offered for all the people those who are affected with Corona. And for the family of Vijay Mary, Fatima Reddy, and Mary, Sister Mary and family, Lakshmi and family, Mary Pushpa and family, so all these families, and Jaya and family, all the family members, let's all offer into the mighty hands of God, and let's all pray to Almighty God. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and make it our glory to praise you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we praise you. Father, we praise Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we praise you. Holy Spirit, God, we praise you. Holy Spirit, God, we praise you. Hallelujah. 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 My dear friends, today the Mother Church celebrates the fourth Sunday in ordinary time. The readings of the day teaches us from the three readings God is telling us Don't be afraid my child for I am with you. Don't be afraid. And second reading we see St. Paul says Love everyone as a child, as God loved us, learn yourself to love everybody. As God loved you, try to learn yourself in return, loving God. My brother, my sister, close your eyes and keep your both hands on your heart and check your life. Are you loving God? Are you loving the world and worldly people? And wasting your life on earth. If you are not loving your God who created you. It's a sin. So remember all the moments. Where you fail to love your God. And ask pardon and forgiveness from the Lord. I confess to Almighty God. And to you my brothers and sisters that have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, words in what, what I have done, done and in what I have tried to do through my, my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask bless me and virgin, all, all the innocent, innocent saints, saints, and, and, and to my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the Lord God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to everlasting life lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ have mercy on us christ have mercy on us lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us lord sol thank and praise god through this trinitarian through this gloria Thank you Lord. We praise you God. We love you Lord. We worship you. We adore you thy holy name Lord. Let us all sing praises to him and glorify his holy name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the Father. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the Father. To him be glory forever to him be glory forever haleluya amen haleluya amen haleluya amen glory to god 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 Son of the Father, to Him be glory forever. To Him be glory forever. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Glory to God glory to the holy spirit to him be glory forever to him be glory forever haleluya amen haleluya amen haleluya amen haleluya amen haleluya amen haleluya Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. The first reading a reading from the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verses from 4 to 5 and 17 to 19. A word of the Lord came to me and saying Before I formed you in the womb I knew you and before you were born I consecrated you. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations but you got up your lines arise and say to them everything that I commanded you do not be dismayed by them lest I dismay you before them and I behold I make you this day a fortified city an iron pillar and bronze walls against the whole land against the kings of juda its princes its priests and the people of the land they will fight against you but they shall not prevail against you for i am with you says the lord to deliver you the word of the lord thanks thanks be to be god, to god. response oral some your response is my lips will tell of your help my, my lips, lips will tell, tell of your, your help. help 
In you, O Lord, I take my refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and free me. Pay heed to me and save me. Your response, my lips, lips will, will tell of your help. help. Be a rock where I can take my refuge. A mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Free me from the hand of the wicked. Your response, my lips, lips will tell of tell your, of your help. help. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, since my youth. And you I have learned from my birth. From my mother's womb, you have been my help. Your response, my, my lips, lips will tell, tell of, of your, your help. help. My lips will tell of your justice and day by day of your help, O Lord. You have taught me from your youth and I proclaim your wonders still. Your response, my, my lips, lips will tell, tell of your, your help. help. The second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 31, and chapter 13, verses 1 to 13. Earnestly desire the higher gifts, and I will show you a still more excellent way. If I speak the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver my body to be burned but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For our knowledge is imperfect and our prophecy is imperfect. But when the perfect comes, the imperfect will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. For now, we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall understand fully, even as I have been fully understood. So, Faith, hope, love, abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory to you god gospel according to saint luke chapter 4 holy verses from 21st to 30th then jesus began to say to them today this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing all spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth they said is not this joseph's son he said to them doubtless you will quote me this proverb doctor care yourself and you will say do here also in your hometown the things that we have heard you did at capernaum and he said to them truly i tell you no prophet is accepted in the prophet's hometown but the truth is there were many widows in israel in the time of eliza when the heaven was shut up 3 years and 6 months and there was a severe famine over all the land at eliza was sent to the sent to none of them except to a widow at zarephath in syria there were also many lepers in israel in the time of the prophet elisha and none of them was cleansed except naaman the syrian when they heard this all in the synagogue were filled with rage they got up drew him out of the town and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town was built so that they might hurl him off the cliff but he passed through the midst of them and went on his way The gospel of the Lord Praise to you Lord Jesus Christ My dear beloved brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ Today as we heard in the introductory part especially focusing on the first reading of the day god called prophet jeremiah the first part of the today's first reading we see how god called prophet jeremiah and for what he called him and what was the work that god entrusted to him all these things we see in the part first part of the first reading and the second part we see my brothers and sisters how god filled him with his courage and how he sent him to the nation with a courageous heart and with that courage what jarmaya did in his life so all these things are we see in the first reading and the gospel also we see how jesus how the people rejected him and how jesus went away silently from them my brothers and sisters when i read all the three readings especially first reading god taught me a theme the theme is don't be afraid for i am with you he taught me a theme he taught me a one thing a great truth Don't be afraid Jeremiah for I am with you. Oh my child don't be afraid 
for god is with you so this is the truth that god is telling us today yes my dear brothers and sisters god has created us in his own image and likeness what for not to live a courageous life he created us to be with him to be like him how god lived on earth how jesus lived on earth he did not live like an uncourageous fellow but he lived a courageous man a man of courage anything came into his life he could overcome the courage that his father has given to him yes my beloved brothers and sisters the same thing god is telling us you are my child why are you afraid so we are the people who supposed to live with courage but there are some people who forget this truth and they live they see around the situation whatever happens around them and they in order to focus on god they focus on the things which happens around them and they lose the courage which god has given to them that's what happened in the lives of disciples till then they saw with their own eyes the miracles the blame walking the blind seeing with their own eyes you and me were not there when jesus was there on earth but blessed are the people who are there with him they saw and even two fish and five bread 5000 people jesus could feed this also a great miracle they had seen then jesus said go to the other other side take your boats i will come after 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 some time so when he when they went when boat came in the middle of the sea till that time they are chit chatting they are enjoying they are talking each other they are making some jokes and laughing each other what all happened what all the miracles that happened everything they are discussing and moving but all of a sudden a heavy wind came and it was dashing the boat and the water is coming in the boat then suddenly they saw heavy wind coming then they forgot all the who are they they forgot even god they only focused on the wind they only focused on the boat they only focused on the water the waves of the sea they are supposed to be courageous persons what this waves of the sea will do to us when the living god is with us till now we have seen what a miracles we never seen in our lives they are supposed to be courageous after all what this wind will do to us not even one hair of my head will fall because my living god is with me why should i be afraid they are supposed to think in this way but word of god says they all cried for life jesus is there with them he was taking rest but they all cried for life word of god says see they lost their courage which god has given to them then jesus comes and warns them oh faithless people have you not seen the miracles which i have done where was that courage where is that faith where is that courage which i have given to you he questioned them they lost the courage see the their life but whereas 
here in the first inning person jarmaya a small boy god trained him and what he told him just listen uh, book of jarmaya chapter 1 only verses 17 we read 117 but you but you jarmaya gird up your lines ha huh. stand up and tell them everything that i commanded you stand up yourself have courage and go and proclaim them what i command you ha yeah. do not break down therefore hmm or i will break you before them ha huh. and i for huh. my part huh. have made today fortified city mm. and iron pillar and bronze wall mm. against the whole land against the kings of judah uh. its princes its priests and the people of the land mm. they will fight against you uh. but they shall not prevail against you uh. for i am with you praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 you see my brothers and sisters even fifth verses when we read don't worry jermaya don't be afraid of the people whom you are going to preach they will fight with you they will say number of things to you you may face lot of things from them they may attack you through their words and deeds but remember i am with you take this is courage and don't lose your courage go and proclaim nothing will happen to you nothing will happen to you even jesus also when he preached when he did miracles though there are many people who are trying to uh, spoil his name and his name scribes and pharisees they always ready to attack jesus they rejected him they rejected him they want to attack his life spoil his life finish his life but he did not afraid courageously stood my brother my sister look at the life of jeremiah look at the life of jesus how they face the struggles in their life with the courage that god has given to them the same thing god is teaching you my brother my sister all those who are watching this holy holy mass all those who are listening this word of god listen carefully god has created you to be like him like a man of courage are you man of courage or are you afraid of the things of the world things of the things that are happening in your life things that are happening in your family things that are happening around you are they making you to get afraid like the disciples if it is so examine your life you are called by god not to be like a uncourageous person but a man of courage this is a challenge my brother my sister what happens if you are afraid of the things of the world you will not move forward you can't move forward it is evil which shows you lot of things to your eyes You see Raju, you see Mariamma, you see Rani, you see Vijaya, you see Mary. See these things are there in your life. These are the problems in your life. These are the situation in your life. This is the problems in your family. This is the problems in your husband. This is the problems in your children. The evil shows lot of things in your to your eyes. So we need to be aware of ourselves. if you are not aware of the evil things in your life the temptations that the evil is showing to your eyes if you are not aware you will lose your courage when i lose my courage what happens for everything i will be afraid 
when i see the people i will get afraid if something happens if some sickness comes i will have fear my brothers and sisters and that's what we read book of psalm chapter 27 holy verses 14 we read book of psalm 27 holy verses 14 what king david says we listen wait for the lord wait for the lord be strong be strong and let your heart take courage and let your heart take courage praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 a man who experiences the power of god in his life he says to us he teaches us today o man be strong yourself wait for the lord be strong yourself face everything whatever comes into your life with courage how can that courage comes when i remember that my creator is with me my savior is with me then my fear will move away from me and that's what in second reading we see st paul says when the when the heaven things comes to us the worldly things will move away from us when the courage from above comes to us the fear of the world will be removed moving from us this is the secret of god so god is teaching us my brother my sister so king david says with his experience wait for the lord be strong yourself face all your difficulties and problems with courage when do you get that courage when you think yourself that when you imagine that that your creator is with you your god is with you your savior is with you your protector is with you then the fear everything will be move away from you it is like when dad is with the child child by seeing his friends what it says when he when a child goes along with his father when he sees his friends he says showing finger hey come now you come man come you now you can scold me now you touch me touch and see from where he gets that child gets that courage by seeing his father his dad is with him his father is with him so he will be very courageous he will not be afraid of anything even people comes behind him and eat hit him or scold him and shout at him nothing will worry he will not worry anything such a strong he will become such a strongly so a strong person how does he get that courage from where he gets by seeing his father my father is mighty my father is my savior my father is my protector he will take care so he is my courage so our courage must be jesus he is our strength he is our courage he is everything so when you think yourself that god is with you nothing will happen to you he will be your protector he will not allow you to fall in the hands of evil so tell your mind tell your soul oh my soul don't be afraid have courage be strong why are you afraid your god is with you learn yourself to tell yourself always then you will overcome the courage the fear in your life because some people may have the fear of exams some they have the fear of interview fear of standing in the crowd fear of talking with others fear of talking with the elders fear of standing in the stage lot of fears people are having 
but whatever the fear that you have in your life if you want to come out of that tell yourself my god is with me my god is with me so when he is with me nothing will happen to me he will take care of me this is a faith like david you should have my brother my sister and secondly remember you are called to be a man of courage don't be afraid of anything in your life train your mind such a way train your body in such a way that god is with you then you will never have any fear in your life and that's what we read book of ezra chapter 7 holy verses 28 we read ezra says oh my dear people i was so courage once i was an courageous fellow fearful fellow but my god has given me courage when i look at myself i think that lot of difference before and me now there are some people when they were studying intermediate degree that time they are very fearful people they were afraid of many things no courage courageous people but now they are full of courage how they became they made themselves that they are courage people in the same way we also should learn ourselves to be courage why for the for god is with us ah read brother Will you take so ezra says to the people you see my dear people i was before a fearful person but now god blessed me with courage and with that courage what i did everything whatever i faced in my life i i overcame now i don't be afraid even people come 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 and attack me also i don't mind even that time also i don't lose my courage my god is there with me so my god is my strength so i became strong when i became strong lot of courage i got it with that courage i faced and i overcame lot of things in my life and even i got victory in many things i got success in many things with the courage that god has given me that courage made me to be a successful person even in the world we see some people there are some people they study well they remember everything but when they sit in the exam hall by seeing sir they forget everything why lack of courage because of fear what sir will do even sometimes we also something just i have i by hearted just i want to put it out when my friend comes everything will go again i let i i have to start from beginning some fear some disturbance when fear comes to us there will be disturbance when there is fear in our life we can't achieve anything in our life oh my dear brother my sister all those who are watching this holy mass remember are you having fear or courage you are called to be a man of courage a person of courage not a person of fear remember how is your life how are you living are you living with fear or with courage god's people live with courage since they live with courage they overcome everything in their life 
ఓన్లీ ఎ కరేజియస్ పర్సన్ రిమంబర్ ఓన్లీ ఎ కరేజియస్ పర్సన్ విల్ అచీవ్ ఎవ్రీ ఎనీథింగ్ ఇన్ హీస్ లైఫ్ బట్ ఫియర్ఫుల్ పర్సన్ యూ నెవర్ అచీవ్ ఎనీథింగ్ ఆల్ ఈస్ టార్గెట్స్ ఆల్ ఈస్ గోల్స్ విల్ బీ యూజ్లెస్ సో దేర్ ఫో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు అచీవ్ ఎనీథింగ్ ఇన్ యువర్ లైఫ్ రిమంబర్ హ్యావ్ కరేజ్ బీ స్ట్రాంగ్ యువర్ సెల్ఫ్ హౌ డు వీ గెట్ దట్ స్ట్రాంగ్నెస్ హౌ డు వీ గెట్ దట్ కరేజ్ ఇన్ అవర్ లైఫ్ వెన్ ఐ మేక్ మై సెల్ఫ్ దట్ మై గాడ్ ఈస్ విత్ మీ సో ఇమీడియట్లీ ఐ విల్ బీ వెరీ స్ట్రాంగ్ అండ్ కరేజ్ విత్ దట్ కరేజ్ ఐ కెన్ అచీవ్ ఎనీథింగ్ ఇన్ మై లైఫ్ హాలే లూయా హాలే లూ హాలే లూయా హాలే లైక్ ఎజ్రా how he was and how once he when he know the truth the truth only made him strong and he could overcome many things in his life and that's what daniel chapter 10 all verses 19 we read even daniel was also became very strong and courage and that's why when the king put him in the in front of lions so he did not afraid how do you, how he got the courage from god in even in that time also he could remember only one thing what this line will do to me my creator is with me my savior is with me he is my strength he is my savior he will take care you see he did not afraid by seeing the lions so you and me should learn those things like Ezra like Daniel like Jesus like Jeremiah we have to learn ourselves to be strong my brother my sister and that's what we read Matthew's gospel chapter 14 holy verses 27 even what Jesus said to his disciples whom he had chosen as his disciples we listen 1427 Matthew Immediately Jesus spoke to them and said Immediately Jesus spoke to them and said Take heart Take heart It is I It is I Do not be afraid Do not be afraid My brother my sister When the disciples were When the disciples faced a lot of struggles in the middle of the sea Jesus came they saw somebody is coming on the water only devil will come only evil will come they are talking each other but jesus came and removed their fear from their hearts by saying be calm remember it is i your god is with you be strong be courage my brother my sister and that's what finally we read first corinthians chapter 16 holy verses 13 we read and reflect even what paul said we listen first corinthians 16:13 keep alert keep alert stand firm in your faith stand firm in your faith be courageous be courageous and be strong and be strong you see st paul also was telling to people of corinthians when they disturbed themselves he told them why are you disturb yourself why are you afraid of the things why are you afraid of the people why are you afraid of the teachers why are you afraid of the masters why are you afraid of the of the scribes and pharisees so be strong and courage god is with you god will bless you and you can achieve anything in your life and finally we see even first chronicle chapter 28 20 we read david said to his son solomon what he said oh my son as i was strong as i was i was i was a man of courage i want you to be like you be strong and courage because our god is with us 
don't forget in your life wherever you are whether in your work place whether you are in your job place where whether you are in america whether you are in india whether you are in struggles whether you are in happy moments wherever you are don't be afraid be strong yourself take courage for god is with us so when we know that god is with us we don't fear when some, nobody is with us only we get fear maybe uh, talking talking with others we'll continue we'll conclude here uh, suppose a friend and both friends are talking talking and they are cracking jokes suddenly uh, other one friend uh, gets phone call and he goes away from there only these both are there suddenly as he goes away power power goes suppose power cuts what this one fellow will do he will get fear he will have fear till that time his friend was there no fear his friend went away and the power also gone now this fellow was left alone he lost he lose his courage and he will have fear in the darkness something will come some snakes may come some people come and they steal the things or some people may attack me lot of things will go in his mind in the same way when god when we know that when we learn ourselves that my god is with me i don't have any fear so therefore my beloved brothers and sisters when do i get that uh, fear, uh, that courage only holy spirit with god will give us give me that's what we read first corinthians 13:6 only holy spirit god who ever christ to holy spirit god so they will have the courage courage will be given by holy spirit god so my dear brothers and sisters so in this holy mass kindly pray for yourself oh lord oh holy spirit god grant me courage as you gave courage to jesus as you gave courage to ezra as you gave courage to jeremiah as you gave courage to daniel give me also the same spirit of courage so that i can achieve my targets so that i can move according to your will and wish achieving everything in my life Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, our Lord. Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified and unburied. He descended to death. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to the judge of the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body and life everlasting. Amen. Mr. you Lord God of all creation thanks to your goodness this bread we offer fruit of the earth work of our hands it will become the bread of life blessed be God blessed be God Blessed be God forever amen Blessed be God Blessed be God Blessed be God forever amen Pray even that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
And with your spirit lift up your heart we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just and our salvation always and everywhere to give thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering cancel out our sins by his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life and by ascending to you o father he has unlocked the gates of heaven and so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without the end we acclaim Hosanna 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 in the highest Hosanna 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 in the highest Lord we lift up your name Lord we lift up your name with our hearts filled with praise with our hearts filled with praise. we exalt our Lord of God Hosanna in the highest Blessed, blessed, blessed is the one who comes Blessed, blessed, blessed is the one who comes Lord, we lift up your name, Lord, we lift up your name. With our hearts filled with praise, with our hearts filled with praise, we exalt our oh Lord of God, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may be comfort us, the body, and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Say, O Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, you may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Paul Anton our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have had any mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who, who have pleased you throughout the ages, it may merit to be quest eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through humanity, humanity, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's all stand and say the beautiful prayer which our Master Jesus taught us to say. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us trespasses as we forgive those trespassing against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, as the apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Will you and reign forever and ever? Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together in love. There is only one God, there is only one King. There is only one body, that is why we sing. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together in love. Let your face shine on your servants, save me in your merciful love. O oh Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call you, I call on you. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O oh Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.
Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. As eternal peace is love, I will sing to my God never ceasing. All my life I will tell of His wonders. He's a maker of all earth and heaven. Of the ocean, the sea, so they hold. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. As eternal peace is love.